Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little mini haul video. And um, I just want to preface by saying this was stuff that I got on the VIB sale, which it's very little. And I did pick up one other um, foundation. It was from a different brand. So if you guys want to see what I got, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's start with the first one. I already threw like the box away and it's actually, it was super cute and I didn't even think to save it, but let me find it on Instagram because it is an Instagram um, indie brand that I happened to just come across. Um, I'm not even sure who I am following. I can't remember anymore, but their Instagram came up and I was like, oh, well, let me look at it. Cause you know, I like supporting indie brands, you know, cause everybody needs a little bit of love. They are called Haley's Beauty. I don't know if you can see that and so I just kind of went through their Instagram and I was like okay they're an up-and-coming brand so they are coming out with or they came out with a primer and then now they just launched a couple of shades of foundation so I was like okay cool let me check it out the only reason that it really caught my eye was they were doing a giveaway almost it's practically a giveaway where they were doing free foundation for the first like 200 people so I was like yes let me see if I can get on that and I noticed that they don't have like a super ton of followers so I was like mm, what are my chances so I picked up the foundation all you had to do is pay for shipping so I paid for a $22 foundation for $4.99 because that's how much the shipping was and like I said it's called Haley's Beauty and this is what the packaging looks like it's super sleek and compact I really really like it um, I got the shade 4.5 it's the second to the darkest shade so I understand that they're an up-and-coming indie brand so they probably don't have a huge range for uh, women of color but I picked up the shade 4.5 because I figured you know it's about to be summertime you know I would like a more tan foundation so I thought I'd pick this up unfortunately I think it is way too yellow for me so um you just kind of twist this or you pull it off rather and it has like this funny little dropper like have you ever seen like the whiteouts that are like this <laughs> that's what it reminds me of so i'm just going to drop a little on the back of my hand and it's a squeeze tube and you just kind of close it back up and this is the shade that i got so it's definitely really yellow almost the lighter shade that what is close to my shade color was too light and then the next shade up was too dark so i couldn't figure out what i wanted so according to their instagram description this one was tan with a yellow undertone which on my skin tone i look like an oompa loompa so that's what it looks like but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out. Maybe you don't need too much. It seems like it is a very full coverage or at least a medium coverage foundation. It's very lightweight so far. So I don't know if I'm gonna try it on camera because I'm kind of scared. I don't want to turn out to look like an Oompa Loompa because that has happened before Easter 2015. I was an Oompa Loompa and nobody told me. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. And the next couple of items I got from Sephora. So we're just going to jump in. And I don't usually use my um, perk points because I, one, sometimes I don't have what I want. And two, I'm just kind of like, well, if I just save them, I'll have a ton. So I actually did um, pick something up. It was a 500 point perk and it is hair care from the brand Amika and I actually my friend Julie was the one that kind of said hey try out Amika you know dry shampoo because she knew that I was testing out some dry shampoos for a later video um but yeah so I saw that this was a 500 point perk so I was like let me pick this up so it's a pretty nice size I really do like everything that came in here this is what came in here so this is a pretty good 500 point perk um the first thing that i see is the perk up dry shampoo so this is what it looks like and it is 0.75 and i just kind of want to spray it 
It smells really nice. It smells like floral perfume, which, which I like. So there's that. And then there is Silken Up Dry Conditioner. I've never tried a dry conditioner before, so I can't wait to try this out and see what it does to my hair. Um, and let's spray this one. It smells the same. It feels a little, feels a little lighter almost, but <laughs> we'll have to try that one out as well. I'd like to try both of these out just to see how they work well together. The next thing is touchable hairspray and it comes in on also an aerosol. Same scent, but it does have a slight alcohol taste or taste smell to it. So I'll try this out whenever I do like curls or something. And the next thing is a nourishing hair mask, which I love hair mask because even though I haven't color treated my hair in a long time, it still gets really dry after a few days of not washing it. And then when I wash it, I need to really like rehydrate my hair. So I like using hair masks. Last but not least, the Amika Bombshell Blowout Spray. So I really like this. It seems like it's a heat protectant spray for my hair when I do curl it or when I do blow dry my hair. I would love to always use a heat protectant if I can. So that's everything that came in the 500 point perk box, which I think is amazing because some 500 point perks are just not great. I think I got a Makeup Forever one a long time ago and pretty much it was shit so i didn't really care for that the next thing that i bought was actually a travel size of the amika dry shampoo just because i picked this up first and then i saw that and i was like oh i'll just get it and i wanted to have a bigger sample size of it for my videos so i did pick up a travel size of the dry shampoo the next thing that i picked up is the mark jacobs highliner i actually got a sample of this in my sephora play box when I was subscribed to it a few months ago, it's probably maybe last year already, and I just fell in love with this because it is the best black eyeliner I have ever used on my waterline, on my upper rim. I just, I find that this really does what it's supposed to do, which it's not supposed to budge, and it doesn't, and I have eyeliner pretty much all day long in my waterline, in my inner rim. I just... I love this thing. It's hella expensive, but that's why I got it on the v at the VIB Rouge sale. And it's just a black eyeliner. So this is a definite, definite holy grail for me because mine is like travel size and it's this big and it is literally out. And I cannot use anything else because everything else like kind of bleeds down and gives me like a second rim of eyeliner and it just, you know. It's not cute when you have a second rim of eyeliner, you know, during the day. So I am so glad I finally picked that up. The last thing that I got, I told you I did not get anything too major. The last thing I got was the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade G50. I wanted a darker shade for summertime. So I just got that. I mean, I've been dying to try their custom cover drops because I feel like I can mix this into like my foundation and just have a more like tinted moisturizer feel throughout the summer, especially when I just don't want to wear like a full on piece of makeup. So I actually got the shade G50. I think my normal shade, my everyday shade is G40. So I wanted to get it for the summertime and I just got it everywhere. So again, I think this color is probably a little too dark for me as well right now, but that's okay. I'm probably going to have the same issue as the Haley's and this is what it looks like. It's still a little, it's still a little orange, but I, again, I wanted to use it for the summertime and uh, I think it'll work just fine. That is actually it for my little mini haul that I did during the VIB sale. Um, like I said, I will be testing out some dry shampoos, so keep an eye out for that. I am also doing a video on beauty sponges, so also keep an eye out on that. And if you guys like this makeup look, let me know down below and I will film it. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. So again, if you do want to see a tutorial on how I did this makeup look, then let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you guys all in my next one.